Douglas, three for three in the last game. Had a walk, uh, a plethora of stolen bases, some runs, and uh, an average that is probably sitting somewhere north of 500 right now after that last game. Yeah, and then <laughs> Marcus just showed me a slugging percentage of 800, which those are those are stats before the last game. That is surely risen. She put a few in the outfield last game. The count two to two, Loveless, shallow center, gets it down, and her great day continues. Emily Loveless, man, she's a tough out. Yeah, she really is a tough out. You know, looking at her stats, she's got 14 walks, and me and Drew realized that very, very early on in the paper. And be, it, honestly, like Drew said, I think it's purposefully, like, this yeah. girl can make plays when that yeah. ball gets to her. So I really would not be surprised if other pitchers in the conference have just, yeah. you know, decided to give it up. And her in that leadoff position, it's like it's so dangerous. It's like a it's like a guaranteed on base. It's such an advantage for Reinhardt. And uh, number four, yeah. Alexis Tims yeah. for Tim. the Reinhardt Eagles. She had a really really solid game as well last game. Stolen bases, made some plays in the field, and of course got on base a plethora of times. And Hogriff's second pitch is a strike. 0-2 in the count now. And if she can get a little bit of, you know, a little bit of momentum, a little bit of, um, if she can lock in that strike zone early, find find her groove, be, it'll be big going. And you see Loveless going, the throw a little high. Beard not able to get the tag down. Loveless takes second base. And man, this almost could be a broadcast about Loveless the way she's been playing today. She yeah. just really, makes plays. She hits the ball, steals bases, and does yep. everything Reinhardt needs her to do. Yep. A five-tool player, if there ever was one. Hoger, if this one teams a little slap at it, and uh, that one's going to be foul up the right field line. Lineup changes for the Lady Lions. Yep. We have number 13, Denver Hogriff in at the mound. We have number 99, Bree Bumgarner, stepping in for Aubrey Presley, who is now at first base. Millie Taylor has moved back, while Jade Richards is still a second. And that's normally, that's that's kind of the what you see quite a bit. Um, early in the year, they were moving, they, were, they would move Taylor to second base, and Richards would, would slide out of the lineup. But Richards has, has played pretty well at second base. She's, she just plays in the field. Um, not part of the not part of the hitting lineup. Um, I think it's a good switch. Yeah, I definitely think it's been a good switch, especially giving us a little more speed and yeah. I don't know. She just makes a lot of good catches, I think. Yeah, and a low ball from Hogriff gets past Bumgardner. Loveless takes third, standing up. So I think a very rare drop from Bree Bumgardner. Yeah. She really yeah. puts a squeeze in that ball and has a very good eye in the way watching runners who steal. She's a good catcher. She she hits DH, but she can she can slide in there when needed. This one, a foul chopper up the left field line. Two two count. Yeah. Yeah. Teams is making Hogriff work for the out, and it would be a big one. They've got us. I would think you can't let Reinhardt start off with a run here. Absolutely. Got to control this game. Teams, another foul tip off the foot. That's that change of Hogriff so yep. known for. It's just so, so good. And just takes a whole park in the middle of the air. Yep. Hogriff, the 2 2 delivery on the way. And another foul ball by teams, this one high in the air behind us. A lot easier to track now. Now we got some cloud cover yep. protecting us from that sun, so it's going to be a little bit easier to see that ball in the sky. That, that cloud cover is why this game has moved up. You can see those are, those are getting to be some darker clouds, weather coming in. Hopefully we get this one off. Teams, another foul slap up the left field line. Yeah, teams is definitely making Hogarth work at the mound right now, having to throw a few pitches just to get her either out and make yep. something happen, which is you know, always interesting. And we'll see the 2-2 once again from Hogarth. The last three balls have been foul. And that one not foul. Beer dives, can't get it. Loveless scores standing up. Hart handles it in the outfield. 
Man, Loveless and Scorante has all seemed like very yeah. just walking into the plate, you know, nothing yeah. very difficult. The hitters behind her have done an excellent job to get her to that home plate, and it, it's not been a big stressor. She's she's not had to slide too much. Not at all. With, you know, Reinhardt's batting rotation between Loveless, Evans, and Teams is just a And very good another trio. one going to get past Bumgardner. Teams going to take. Teams is going to take second base, so already you see the line zero outs. And they are, man, they are struggling to struggling to get them. Outs are coming, are coming at a premium in this game. And a bunt by Stevens. Bumgardner tracks it down. She'll get the throw in time at first base for out number one. Teams advances to third. And I'm sorry, we missed another. Uh, Ashley Twitty isn't right for Callie Green. That's, nope. that's one that we've been seeing more and more as the season's gone on. Twitty's played well. She's she's having an impact on games. Yeah, Twitty's also a very good pinch runner. And the first pitch of the at-bat to Ansley Evans. Ans Evans, another, another girl that had a really nice game last time out, making plays in the field. And, of course, pretty, pretty lethal from behind home plate. And the 0-1 delivery. Evans up the middle. Beard can't get to it. Team's going to score. Evans stands up on first. No problem. I believe that's three straight hits for the Reinhardt Eagles. Reinhardt, you know, they just have a way of finding that ball, hitting that ball in the right spot, making yeah. plays. A good effort from Beard. Beard's got a good glove, but that went a little bit too much for her to handle. And uh, into the box, I believe this is our, uh, yeah, this is our friend Shallon, Shallon Olsway. Shallon Olsway. Yeah, you know, we it. had her mom come to us and yeah. give us the introduction to told us how to say it perfectly. Yeah. Polish origins, of course. We've got a, uh, we've got a uh, Juliana Santianas. That's of course Hispanic heritage. So we deal with it around the globe and in the booth. You know, here at Brian. You know, you experience all type of cultures mm -hmm. from all different areas of the Absolutely. world. You know, athletically, academically, and you know, we're open and accepting of all. Hooker behind in the count here, two zero, first two pitches. Both haven't found their mark. That one finds its mark. Oh. And the umpire is gonna call it foul. Or or not. I'm not too sure, honestly, Drew. Yeah, hold on. Just, I believe he centered. I believe he signaled for foul. Yeah. Yeah, they're absolutely right. That ball hit the base. That should be a base hit, but. Called a foul. Yeah, by the called, umpire. called foul just a little bit too soon. Very interesting call right there. It was very good yeah. uh, vigilance by the Reinhardt yeah. Eagles and their dugout to be very noticeable about that ball hitting the base. I. I respect him though. He's gotta he's gotta stick with his call. Once once you call a ball foul, it's dead. You can't it's dead, yep. can't go back on it. I understand. And maybe a little bit of a lucky break. Again, we we talked last time. Brian's gonna need some luck to uh Brian's gonna need some luck as you see Evans get back to first there. Brian's gonna need some luck. They're gonna need something to go their way. And that could be it right there, because that was gonna be that was gonna be a base hit, and that was uh, Evans was at least getting to third there. And the 3-1 offering, that one low. So Olsway eventually finds her way to first base. And now runners at first and second for the Eagles. And Kylie, I believe that's Kylie Frazee stepping into the box for Reinhardt. And the first pitch of the at-bat, a called strike one. It's a good pitch by Hogriff right there, yep. right down the middle. Got the force out at every single base. I know, I know, I say that, but I, it's it's something of note. If you get one on the ground here, you're looking you're looking really nice. The 0 one offering this one to Beard pops up, handle. Oh, she got it to Richards in time, but the throw a little bit too much for her to handle, 
And now Reinhardt once again has loaded the bases here in the early first inning. Andrew, we were in a very similar position yeah. like this last game, yeah. and unfortunately it didn't go our way. Yeah. You know, we need to capitalize right here and try to get some, some outs and really not allow Reinhardt to score right here because once they get the momentum going, they can really yeah. get the running as we saw last game. And that a foul tip to the backstop, landed right in front of us, Bumgarner. Runs back to get it. Yeah, it's it's in, they're they're playing an uphill battle, not only from you know the softball perspective, but the mental perspective. I mean, you just got mercy ruled in mercy run ruled in the first game, and now you're being asked to play the same team in the same setting 20 minutes later. Yeah, definitely an interesting dynamic, you know. And I also like one thing about softball is that you know the girls do play double headers. You know, they play the same team mm -hmm. twice, which is very unique and different yep. than a lot of other sports. Like Baseball does it, but that's that's about it. And, you know, to play a team twice back-to-back -back is very interesting because, mm -hmm. you know, you might beat a team very well in that first game, mm -hmm. but that second game is a whole new game, and it could be, you know, a whole new time for opportunity for another performance. Yeah. That's well said. Yeah, imagine if, uh, imagine if you had to had to play two basketball games back-to-back, -back, like AAU in conference. That'd be crazy. You yeah. know, honestly, for the reasoning, it does make sense. Like, yeah. I know the girls for the traveling and yeah. inclement weather because, you know, they, they do play outside. We're trying is, to get the games off. Which makes perfect sense. But I couldn't imagine having to suit up after just playing 46 minutes of basketball. Yeah. For my coach to say, hey, get ready, Marcus. We're doing it again. Yeah. That'd be a tough one. You see Hogarth blow it by her on the outside there. This is uh, Hannah Kate Singleton for Reinhardt. She is, I believe, a catcher. She's catching this second game. And Singleton down the left field line. This one hitting the fence. Foul. Good contact there. Not able to find its mark just yet. The 1-2 count, Hogarth at the mound. Number 17, Hannah K. Singleton still at the plate for the Eagles. Delivery from Hogarth. That one low, gets away from Bumgarner. Can't find it, she'll flip it to Hogarth. Not in time. Reinhardt gonna score its third run of the first inning. Number seven, Angela Evans with the score. Like we were just talking about, Drew, this team, man, you know, they play very efficient. They get their hit. They get their players on base, and they make those hits when they need to be hit, yep. and they can score. They've got speed everywhere, almost everywhere. This one a high pop up down the left field line over the fence. And not only speed, Drew. They're just very accurate with their hits. They yep. not only are hitting the ball, but hitting them in the right spots yep. in the gaps between where our girls are having a hard time to get to them. Hogriff with the 3 2 count, looking to get the out. Singleton, shallow pop up. Santianas tracks it down. The throw to the plate stops the runner, inner tracks at third. And a good play and a sign of life here for the Bryan College Lady Lions. Yeah, it's definitely what we needed right there. You know, a quick out, make a big play. Santianas out there in the field, catching the ball quick, being able to make a good throw to. Bree Baumgartner on home plate. This is going to be number two, Aaron Lee. Lee struggled in the last game. One of the only Lady Eagles that, that had any problem. Yeah, if we can even call that a problem. Yeah. Hogarth going to blow the first one right by her. I think we might get the change up here. Don't want to say it too loud, but we are, <coughs> excuse me, we are right behind home plate. Lee, pop up, foul ball. Over the backstop, it's going to be an 0-2 count. Andrew, like I was telling you, the energy from Reinhardt is just exuding coming yeah. from that left side. And, you know, energy is just a big part in all sports, not only mm -hmm. softball or basketball for you, that mind. Great Ooh, catch by yeah, number 30, was. Aubrey Presley, yes, from that hit was. from number two. That's Aaron Lee. Yeah, man, that was... That was much needed. It was a strong pop. It goes straight to Presley. But you're right. When you're winning, winning's fun. So there's a lot, a lot more opportunity to have energy. We'll see if Bryan College can find a little energy of their own in the bottom of the first inning right here on the Lions Radio Network.
and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Bryan College Radio Network. On the mound for Reinhardt, we have got number three, Ali Adriana Adriano. And uh, Adriano been pretty lethal this year, just like Shepard before. Seven, uh, seven wins, only one loss, an ERA of 2-2-5. Two, two, That's pretty good. Yeah, between Shepard and Adriano, they do have a very good pitching yeah. core over there in Reinhardt. And, you know, like we've been watching and the stats have proven, this is a very good ball team right here. Yeah, you're right. This is a, this is just a complete squad. There's just, there's, there's ball players at every single position. Yeah, definitely, Drew. Just like you said, I think there's ball players at every position. Like the first three girls in their rotation between Evans, Timms, and Lovelace just really can get it shaken for the Reinhardt Eagles. Yep. Not only that, you know, they have Wade, who's out there in the field, really putting the squeeze on the balls out there as well. I just think they've been playing a complete game. Santiana slaps the ball, going to go into the Bryan dugout. Caught the count knotted up at 2-2. Two two. Now, for as good as this Reinhardt Eagles team is, I do not think they're that much better than our girls. I think if our girls can make, fix those small mistakes we made in the last game and you know get some offense early in this game, we should be A-OK. -okay. Yeah. So I agree got, with you, Marcus. I, I think we've got the, the potential, we've got the power. I mean, we've got it. We just, Reinhardt is, they, they look experienced. They look like they know they know exactly what they want to do. And that's, that's something we've got to match. Santiana's going to foul tip that one. Catcher tracks it down. It's going to be a foul ball. Once again, Santiana's a big leadoff, long tail at bat here. She did in the last game. Jeez, yeah, that, that got me again. I apologize, right folks, us. for the wind. We can't do too much now that clouds are coming up and, you know, the wind is definitely picking up. So I'm actually very glad that we had these games scheduled for earlier so they can actually play instead of get canceled to the inclement weather. And Santiana's gonna go down swinging on strike three. And Adriano starting it off with a bang in the box for Bryan College. Gonna be number 13 at Denver Hogriff. Denver, of course, the pitcher. She can get a little bit too. Sorry, folks, sorry, folks. Apologies for the win. We'll try to keep it as low as we can while the wind's going on. Hoger, if the pop up into shallow, left top field. by Loveless. Yeah. Again, Loveless all over this field. Me and Drew earlier yeah. were talking about whether she could field or not, but man, she does it all. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a pretty good fielding percent. I checked that while we were we were on break. Good fielding percentage too. Stepping into the box for the Lady Lions, number 30, Aubrey Presley. Aubrey Presley with that big play a little earlier, catching that ball. They kind of hit straight to her from that number two, Lee, uh, from the Eagles. So let's see what she can do up here at the plate. So far, a perfect game from Adriano. The first pitch, a ball, Presley. Going to need to get some sort of spark, something going for the Lady Lions. And another ball a little low there from Adriano. The count moves to two to nothing. And the 2-0 pitch. Presley hard hit, but it's right to the left fielder. Caught by Taylor Wade. Yeah. And that's something we saw a lot last game. Hard hit balls that go straight to Reinhardt. That's how the first inning will end. Reinhardt University leading. Your Lady Lions, three to zero. We'll be right back here on the Lions Radio Network.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lions Radio Network on site in a, in a cloudy day in Tennessee as clouds have moved in. Makes it feel pretty nice out here, to be honest with you. You've got a white jacket on. You're just fine. Um, if you're out there listening, watching, um, if you're enjoying the content, consider dropping a, subs sub excuse me, a subscribe. A, um, Wade with a nice chopper off the bottom. Yeah. Consider dropping us a like, comment. We read them all. Thank you guys so much for supporting Brian Athletics. We'll keep bringing these right to you. And I believe that last ball was called foul, so Wade will be back up to bat. And again, for those watching the broadcast, if you guys have any tips, advice, anything to let me and Drew know about what we're yeah, doing softball. to do better yep. about softball, or just in general, even yep. in our, our vernacular, our diction, our way we speak, just let us know. You know, we are growing in this field. This is something we're new in, and love your advice and your constructive criticism, please. Yeah, be great. And Hogriff's got weighed at 1-2, of course, the top of the Reinhardt order coming back up. And that ball going to be a ball a little bit high. But this will be a big out. This will be one she needs. Get one out on the scoreboard. We've seen Loveless be pretty pretty unflappable today, uh, as well as teams behind her. This one, a foul ball over the Wait, dugout. Almost yeah. hit our camera. Yeah, almost. That was close. Our camera, of course, on top of the bigger visitor's dugout. And uh, that wouldn't. It would have been an expensive, expensive foul ball. Yeah, we were just talking about last game how we're very appreciative of our donors giving us this new equipment. And that one, a pop-up to the shortstop. Savannah Beard tracks it down for out number one. Stepping into the box, number 24, Emily Loveless. Man, we've talked a lot about yeah. this broadcast. This is yeah. one heck of a player right here. And the first pitch of the at-bat, going to be a strike on the outside corner. Good pitch from Hogriff there. And she's going to, she, she, you're going to have to dance around a batter like this. You can't, you can't throw straight at her. And no, that's, not at all. That's the pitch you want to see if you're your head coach, Leah Thompson. That one high at her eyes for ball number one. Lovely. She's having a fantastic day overall yep. today. Just finding the ball, hitting the ball, and just being able to score a lot for Reinhardt. Yeah. I believe Loveless has touched the plate in almost every at bat she's had, meaning she's rounded the bases every single time. What an insane stat. Yeah. Not a not a fun one for Brian, but true some truth to it. And Hogriff hanging tough with her. The count two to two. This would be the first time she's gotten out all day. This would be definitely interesting to see and you know me and Drew saying, you know, we are behind home plate, but this is where I think the changeup would yep. come in handy right here. Loveless gets a hold of this one at the the new uh, the new uh, hitting facility. Yeah, hitting facility. There'll be a deck over. That's where we'll be eventually. We'll be over there on the deck. Super nice softball program has put a lot of hard work, a lot of a lot of hours into that thing, and it's it's coming along pretty nicely. Yeah, it's definitely going to be needed. The girls, you know, use the field, use the, the equipment that they have, you know, a lot. And, you know, it's always nice. Ooh, that one fouled off right yeah. around us. Yeah, close to us. By number 24, Emily Loveless. Loveless, she just can get her eye on the ball. Got great yeah. hand-eye coordination, waits patiently, yep. and just hits the ball a lot. Yeah. Even even when they're fouls, she just tends to hit the ball a lot. So softball, I guess, in simple terms, comes down to if you can hit the ball. And not that time as Hogriff blows it by her. Loveless finally goes down for the first time today. A good sign if you're Brian College. Very good sign. Hogriff definitely being calm and poised at the mound, getting deep in her bag of tricks for that one. Mm -hmm. Back up is going to be an almost equally as deadly hitter number four, Alexis Teams. I believe she's been close to touching the plate every single time that she's been up to bat today. Yeah, these Reinhardt Eagles have been having a field day, unfortunately, on our yeah. on our Bryan College. But it's all good. You know, we have faith in our girls. Hogriff is looking very composed and poised. Way to get out Lawless, Loveless right there. Yeah. 
and see what she can do. Man, oh man, that one woke me right up, guys. Let me tell you, if this gate wasn't right here, that would have took me right out. That's about the second or third one. Yeah, and I believe Denver was was signaling to us to let us know that there is a screen there, but I'm not I'm not a softball player. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna flinch when that ball comes as she rings up teams. Two strikeouts for Hogriff to end this I believe this is the second inning. To end the second inning. And after, you know, a bumpy start, the Lady Lions seem to have found their footing here. Now hopefully we can get some offense going and make some plays yep. and put some points on the board. We should be all right. And we'll see if they can do just that next. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get you right into it. Brie Bumgarner, it's a high fly ball. And uh, Shallon Olsway able to handle that one with a little bit of a little bit of indecision. Looked like she had to lean a little bit further than she was expecting. Stepping in the box for the Lady Lions, number 10, Savannah Beard. Savannah Beard, a slapper, of course, does really well to get on base when she can. And, you know, she did that last game, Stahl, Haley Stahl behind her. She needs to get on base here. She really does and let, try to let Stahl bat her in. And that one a called strike one right up the middle. And Beard, one of our faster players, like I've been mentioning previously. I just think when she gets the ball, you know, she doesn't have to make such a hit really hard. She could just really make a play with her speed and her legs. Unfortunately, that one straight to the first baseman, Olsway for out number two, a hard hit ball, but it doesn't bring anything. And now up to the plate, number 25, Haley Stahl. Adriano, you know, really staying up there, staying composed, yeah. staying poised, like Shepard, you know, not in a rush, not really trying to take anything out of her hands. Just that one, a foul ball over the backstop, yeah. They, uh... So far, Adriano has set down every single batter, one, two, three, four, five. So this is a, we're on our sixth batter in, in two innings. That's that's about as that's as good as you can do. That one, an inside pitch, finds its mark for strike two. Man, like we've been talking about this Reinhardt team all day, they just are very complete. You know, Adriano, Shepard, Loveless teams. Stall chopper hit to short, handled by Loveless in time to throw for out number three. And uh, a quick one. Um, I think the last game was about, I think it was about an hour and 35 minutes. We're on our way to, to another quick one here. And uh, we'll see if we make it to 4 o'clock. It was 6.45 last time. 4 o'clock's the goal here today on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, on site in beautiful Dayton, Tennessee. As uh, the clouds are rolling in, they're rolling in quick. Luckily, we're moving through this game just fine. The top of the third inning into the box for Reinhardt, going to be number 44, Molly Stevens. Stevens, pretty good outing as last time. Hogriff right there with the changeup. I know we're big fans. Of, we're big fans of that pitch. It gets us. It's as excited when we see it. And every time, you know, it's just Hogriff just has a way of making that ball move. And Stevens, a high fly ball to shallow center field. Hart under it for out number one. And um, I think our outfitters do a pretty good job, man. I, I have to say, I'm, I've been pretty impressed with them this year. They were able to keep the ball in front of them for the most part. Yeah, most definitely. I think a lot of people just tend to forget how hard it is to play out there in that outfield, man. Just because that ball's up there in that sky and think because you can catch it, you can catch it, man. Yep. That ball's kind of a lot faster than you think, and it's a lot higher sometimes and harder to see than you could ever imagine. Ogre's first pitch, a ball. Here comes the 1-0. Evans, whew, that was a almost... frozen rope down the third base line, but it barely gets foul. That was almost going to be another nice hit for the Reinhardt Eagles, but unfortunately it didn't go nowhere, and you know, our Lady Lions were able to capitalize. Hogriff at the mound, doing what she needs to do, staying calm, hopefully she can get Evans out right here. And the 1-1, shallow right field, Richards dives for it and makes the play a big out right there and a big time play from Jade Richards. That's that's the energy we need from our fielders, giving a, our energy to our other players in the infield, you know, because if our fielders are able to go out there and dive, I feel like that's just going to bring energy to everybody else, showing yep. that, you know, I'm willing to do this. Can you guys do it for me as yep. well? And this is going to be Shallon Olsway in the box. Number 19, the first pitch, a foul ball. Hogriff's second pitch of the at-bat doesn't find its mark as it hits the dirt. The count knotted up at one to one. Hey, if you're enjoying what you see here today, folks, consider dropping a subscribe, a comment, a like. We appreciate anything you can give us. We'll keep bringing Brian Athletics to you. My goodness, what a Olsway, swing and a, miss. a big old hack doesn't bring anything. Shallon with a big, big. Big swing. Wanted to see something happen there. Couldn't. Yeah. Hogriff with yeah. the one-two delivery. Yeah. Ugh. Really outside. Yeah. Trying to make her chase there. You don't. I don't hate the pitch. That's. It's exactly what you should do when you're ahead in the count like this as a pitcher. The two-two pitch. And a big pitch here. If Hogriff can get out of two innings without surrendering a run. Oh man, Shale on Olsway. In to left field, a stand-up single. That's a really nice hit over the head of Haley Stahl. And like all day, just consistently, these Ron Hart Eagles have been able to put these balls in these gaps right over our infield, mm -hmm. right in front of our outfield, making it, you know, just enough time for them to have to grab it off the floor for them to get a base or yeah. two. And that's what really leads to those runs later in the game when they have bases loaded, Drew. Yep, that's, that's well said, you know. For a game and a half, it's been the top of the order doing it. But right now, in this inning, it's the bottom of the order that's come through for Reinhardt. And that's very interesting of a dynamic because, you know, like we, we've we been focusing on the top, top half, mm. but you tend to slip and forget about the second half, and they're over here making just as many good plays Absolutely. as the first half. They are indeed. A hard hit ball by Frazier. Gets past the glove. Twitty going to make the throw to third. It's not in time, but she fell off the base. Oh, I hope she's okay. Oh, I hope Shedlin's okay. Oh, man, we're going we're gonna to take us. We're going to step away.
and welcome back ladies and gentlemen sorry for the extended break uh Olsue is still down on the field she's she's been surrounded by by friends teammates even players from our side um we did have a prayer over her we're not sure what the injury is we think it could be something with ankle or knee looked like uh, her leg just kind of buckled and locked up or either gave out on her um so we're we're wishing Shalen or sorry, excuse me Shallon a Speedy recovery is we've got one trainer and then we just called a second one down. It looks like he's bringing, bringing something to be able to lift her up on. Um, and that's all we know for right now. If we find out any more, we'll, we'll definitely let you know. And uh, with that being said, we're gonna we're gonna take another extended break um, until we can we can get this resolved and we can get her and the get her what she needs to have done. Prayers out to her and her family. Hopefully yeah. she comes back. Speedy recovery. Yep. Playing like she was before. Absolutely. And uh, until then, we'll see you guys on the Lions Radio Network.
All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are just about ready to resume play. During the break, Shaylin Olsway, I don't know if you can see that, but she was able to, uh, she was able to, they braced her up and they were, her teammates helped her off. She was able to limp off on one leg, um, not putting any weight on the other, of course. A, a good sign um, that she's able to, you know, even get up, you know. Um, I think I speak for all of us when we say we, we hope there's nothing seriously wrong. Hopefully it was just a bad angle um, and that, you know, it, there'll be no recovery time. And if there is, we pray for speedy and uh, a smooth smooth transition to that. Yeah, definitely. You know, we love competing. We love sports. But at the end of the day, we want everybody to be healthy and safe. Yeah. And unfortunately, um, Shaylin did fall off the base, and she was, she was tagged. Uh, so that ended the inning for Reinhardt at the top of the third. Uh, we're back now for the bottom of the third. The Lady Lions will be hitting Lily Taylor first up to bat. And... Uh, that's kind of where that's where we're at right now. We'll we'll try to resume normal normal game game talk game action. Um, Got keeping that in mind. Bottom of third. And um, yeah, I think we're just about ready to get started. Hopefully. Um, yeah, Reinhardt. Reinhardt's still dealing with some logistics of getting Olsway up to our either our training room or, or wherever she needs to go. So that's that's the delay here. And you know, kind of a kind of a weird situation. We're gonna yeah. take we're gonna take one more break and then we'll uh, we'll resume commentary once the Lady Lions come up to bat.
and welcome back. You hear the cheers of both dugouts clapping for Shallon Olsway. She's got that thing wrapped up just about as tight as it could be. Once again, we wish her a speedy recovery. It looks to be looks to be a little more more serious than we might have first thought, Marcus, but she looks to be in good spirits and uh so do her teammates. So and you know, even though, you know, that is our opponent and you know we are playing against her, our teammates, our lady lions going up to her, giving her good cheers, good praise, giving her gifts and prayers because you know yeah, I'm pretty sure day. Denver just gave her a, a a bag of candy. Hey, you know, <laughs> just to cheer her up. Yep. You never know. That was a little bit nasty spill she took. Hopefully she'll be A okay. And in the box for the Lady Lions to lead us back off. Welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm ready to get back into the game. I am too, yep. brother. And I'm ready to see the Lady Lions come back. I can't lie to you. Make my day. Lily Taylor, first at bat. The first pitch from Adriano, a called strike. The 0 1 delivery, that one a change up. Taylor not expecting it. You could tell she wanted, she wanted something quick to hit. And Adriano got her with the change up. Very good pitch by Adriano. Just being composed, you know, taking her time with her pitches. That one a little bit outside. Yeah. That one was very different compared to the last pitch we've seen her throw. And the 1 2 delivery on the way from Adriano got Taylor swinging. And the ball hit the dirt. She'll be out at first base anyways. And we'll see number five, Vanessa Hart, step into the box. So far, Adriano has not allowed a single Bryan College runner to get to base. So Adriano having a fantastic game, just like Shepard. You know, just picking up right where Shepard left yeah. off, honestly. The first pitch of the at-bat, too hard. Got Hart swinging on the first pitch. The Pitch the count 0-1. These are some pretty gross pitches. She's she's laying out here. This I'm not sure if this is legal. Yeah, Reinhardt, you know, they have a very very oh that one hit the yeah. catcher right yeah. in the head. Thank God we have helmets and protective gear. Didn't even phase her actually. Yeah. You should have seen the way she looked yeah. back here. Yeah, the way didn't tough. even hit her. Count sitting at 0-2, Hart way behind, needs to finally get somebody on base for Brian. That one gonna be a little high in the zone. Good frame there by the catcher. Count moves to 1-2. I might have been talking about this Reinhardt team. Not only is their fielding and hitting good, but their pitchers have just been absolutely yeah. phenomenal as well with Shepard and Adriano just yeah. really not allowing no hits. Like, yeah. Very minimal hits and the hits that they are getting from our Lady Lions are being fielded very quickly. Yeah, and you've seen you've seen both. Did you hear the music in the background? You've seen both of the slappers that have gone so far that have hit one on the ground. It's been straight to first base. So it's been a it's been an easy tag out for yep. the Eagles. The first pitch a strike with some gas. Stepping into the box for the first time today, Ashley Twitty. You know. We're gonna see what athletes what he can do, but like Drew just said, Adriano with a very fast ball in the last pitch. Another one gets by Twitty. This time she swings on it. The count 0-2, and she's about to sit the entire Lions order down by herself. The 0-2 pitch on the way. Twitty gets the edge of it. So for the moment, there's still hope for the the first at bat through this order. The 0-2 on the outside, doesn't find its mark. Count moves to 1-2. And the 1-2 rings her up. Twitty goes down looking. And I guess we'll have to wait till next inning to, to maybe get somebody on base. That's what we're hoping for. Maybe. And uh, we'll see if they can do it right here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in. We're getting ready for the top of the fourth. Uh, Marcus, uh, you know, some time has passed with the injury and everything, but before the break, Ogriff was in pretty good command. She, two straight innings where she hadn't allowed a run, uh, only allowed one hit, that, that one to Olsway, of course. And, uh, I mean, right now the offense is lacking, but the pitching is has brought it for the most part. And, you know, I'm glad you mentioned that, Drew, because I was just about to say that, you know. We've actually done a much better job of not allowing Reinhardt to really run up to score on us mm -hmm. like they did last game because, you know, in the fourth inning last game is when it really got sticky. We had made some serious mistakes that just cost us the ball game. Yep. And I think right now, if Ogre can stay composed, um, get our girls back up to the plate, and you can get a nice hit, we can yep. really change the momentum of this game. And this will be a big, big conference win for our ladies. It will be Reinhardt's first conference loss of the year. The score, three to zero, Reinhardt University Eagles leading your Bryan College Lady Lions. Me, myself, and Marcus Allen on the call here with you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. We enjoy bringing Bryan Athletics to you. The count three one, the delivery from Hogarth. That one high and outside for ball four. So I number seventeen, that. Hannah Case Singleton yeah. with the walk. Unfortunately, yeah. Hogarth made her walk, but you know we much rather see a walk than you know. A hard hit deep center field or something like that yep. you know so i think we're gonna get a pinch runner here for hannah kate singleton and you're, you're allowed a courtesy runner for the catcher um in the nai double zero jolly splendor okay jolly splendor looks to be She's played in a few games, um, gotten a few hits, has two stolen bases on the year. So she's, I mean, just looking at her, you can tell she's got she's got some speed. Yeah, this is the first time we're seeing her today, but. Hogriff, the pitch, gets past Bumgardner. And like we were saying. And a little difficult angle with that bunt to catch that ball. Splendor, quick to get the second yeah. up there. Lee, the bunt, fielded well by Hogriff. Got her at first base. And Presley's got Beard in the stomach there. The one hopper looks to be okay. As um, Splendor advances to third, Lee advances the runner. One runner on third. And here's Taylor Wade. We've seen Wade kind of all over the place in the field. She has made some pretty solid plays out there for the Eagles in left field. Yes, most definitely out there catching that ball. And this a bunt up the line, foul ball. Wade well, gonna have to jog back to the plate. And a chopper to third, keeps the runner at third, the throw in time. A good play there from Haley Stahl to get out number two for the Lions. And they're close to getting out of this inning, but not so fast as Emily Loveless steps back into the box. Uh-oh, and you know, I am the number one Brian College softball fan, but I gotta give credit where credit's yeah, due. Absolutely. Emily Loveless has been playing a phenomenal day of ball. And a called strike one. Hogriff lit her up the last time, looking to do the same here. Hogriff was the only person to strike out Loveless today, so hopefully we can see her do it again right here. That'd be big for our Lady Lions. And the 0-1 delivery on the way from Hogriff. This one, another strike on the outside. And Denver seems to be in, seems to have some control for the first time up there against Loveless today, and almost seems to be winning the middle battle. Yeah, and right now, Hogarth is looking. Again, guys, please excuse us for the win. Not much we can do about that. Stall not able to handle Loveless again. Chopper. With yeah. a nice chopper over to the left side of the field to Haley Stall, which we couldn't get to in time. And again, again, and again, we keep talking about Loveless, but she just keeps making plays. That one probably goes down as an error on the score sheet. Reinhardt University extending the lead four to nothing. And Bumgarner trying to keep Loveless on us there at first. And the 
delivery from Hogriff. This one a strike on the inside. Bumgarner doing her best to keep Loveless over there. And the count on it up at one and one. Hogriff trying to sit down teams here before Reinhardt can put any more on the score sheet. That ball, a rocket at the face of Marcus Allen as he ducks out of the way even though there's a fence. Every time, you know, guys, you know, there's just going to be that one time where yep. I'm out here watching the softball or I'm out here commentating where there won't be a fence, you know. Yep. But my, my reaction speed needs to be there. So, Marcus, we were actually setting up the cameras for, for this live stream earlier this week, and I was standing on top of the dugout, and I got hit with a softball. And Hogriff rings her up on the outside. Teams reaches, doesn't find anything but the air. And that's how the fourth in, top of the fourth will wrap up. Lady Lions doing their best to hang in there. We'll see if they can finally get some runners on base here on the Lions Radio Network. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, to the Lions Radio Network on site here in Dayton, Tennessee, out at the softball field of Bryan College. We're just about ready to get started as Juliana Sant Santianas is going to start us off. First pitch, a strike due to the foul tip from Santianas on the bunt attempt. And right here, this is where you, you, you got to get started if you're Brian. Santianas got all the speed in the world to get her around the bases and get her home. This is where it's got to start. You've got to figure out a way to get her on base. She's got to figure out a way to, to find to find at least first base. That's Especially it. after, you know, Hogarth gave such a good effort at yep. the, up there on the mound mm -hmm. trying to get Lawless out, I'm Loveless out. And, you know, Reinhardt's really good hitters out. But, you know, Adriano has just been up there doing what she needs to do picking right up where Shepard left mm -hmm. off, like as if it wasn't even a substitution. Yeah. And the one-two delivery on the way from Adriano. This time, Santianas makes contact. She has trouble with the catch, and Santianas is safe. Brian College finds first base, and that's exactly what we were talking about. That's the momentum we need, you yep. know. It's just a play like that that can get them other girls riled up, give us the energy we need to make some plays and cut this, cut into this lead. And Denver, I'm a big fan of Denver's walk-up song. That is the, <laughs> that is the uh, intro song in the movie Cars, which is that's one of one of my favorites. I have to say, a, a real classic right there yeah. for for all ages. Yep. People tend to forget, man. Just because you're a little bit older does not yeah. mean you can enjoy some Lightning McQueen. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if you've seen, but have you seen the things on Instagram where they say lightning strikes at like a track meet or it'll strike it like on a cruise ship and they send Lightning McQueen across the screen? It's hilarious. Yeah, they <laughs> have some of my memes, favorites. Man. <laughs> some of my favorites. The 1 1 pitch, Hogriff, hard hit past the glove of the third baseman, Molly Stevens. Hogriff gets on base, two runners on for Bryan College. And now stepping into the box, Aubrey Presley looking to do some damage. And you know, Drew, this is a big position right here. Just like we said, Santiana's made a big play, getting on first. And you know, Hogriff made another hit right there. And right now we have Presley, one of our best power hitters on our team. And mm -hmm. let's see if she can make a play right here. We really need it. 
That one on the inside, I called ball one. And I'm sorry about that last, last uh, I misspoke. I said that was Santiano's over first. That's Hoker from first. I'm sorry, where did Santiana's go? I'm not too sure. They must have got her out. Oh, we must have missed that. Yeah, we must have missed I'm, that. Apologies I'm sorry. For that. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, huh. Okay. Must have slipped our eyes. I, I apologize for that. Uh, Santiana's must have been out. Yeah, I thought they called her safe at first base. Interesting. Okay. I didn't see a throw to second. Yeah. All right. 2 1 count. Adriano at top of the mound. Throwing to Aubrey Presley. And that one gets away from Singleton. She tracks it down. The count 3 1. Adriano obviously not really not confronting Presley head on here. Not trying to dance no. around her. It's causing some balls to be called. And the 3 1 foul ball by Presley. A big swing up in the zone. And you can hear her teammates encouraging her. That's what you need, the full count pitch. Aubrey Presley on the ground, two-third. The throw to second in time. Presley will take first. Reinhardt able to stop the Bryan advance. They've done a really good job, man. We're finally getting the ball for the bat on some balls, but it, it's just not mattered. They're tagging us up at second base. Stepping into the box for the Lady Lions, you got number 99, Bree Bumgardner. And Bumgarner immediately takes a shot at it. This one in center field. Oh, Thought we got for a moment, yeah. From our angle, that one looked like it might have been out the park. Yeah, but. that one able to be tracked down by the center fielder teams with no issue. The Lady Lions finding some life here. We'll see if they can keep it up. Hogriff on the mound next in the top of the fifth here on the Lions Radio Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, into the Lions Radio Network as we get set for top of the fifth action. Bryan College trailing Reinhardt University Eagles four to nothing here. And uh, into the box for Reinhardt is going to be number 44, Molly Stevens. The 0 1 offering from Hogriff. Jammed her on the inside. Beard able to handle it for out number one. Good pitch there as she. You could tell she really wanted to hit that ball. It came more inside and it jammed her on the inside, caused the pop up. Stepping into the mound, I mean, stepping into bat for the Lady Eagles, number seven, Ansley Evans. Ansley, having a good day today. Yes, she Along is. with Loveless. That's like it. What a hit. Yeah, what a seven. hit. Hart tracks it down, though, in shallow left center for out number two. Drew, we need this right here. Yep, you know, we if do. we can get these ladies off the field quickly and, you know, get us back on offense, it could get us in a good position to come yep. to this lead, you know. I think a big thing about today is Reinhardt has been up to bat for so <laughs> yeah. long. If they're not hitting, they already got somebody on base from a walk. So yep. I think that's been our biggest issue today. And Hogriff up the middle, ring strike one. And right now, if she could sit them down, one, two, three, what a big momentum thing for Brian. That a foul tip up 
third baseline out of the ballpark. And the 0-2 offering a big one here for Hogriff. And the 0-2 on the way. This one a chopper to second. Richards giving chase. She flips it to Presley in time. And the Lady Lions sit them down just like that. Good fielding work all around from Giving all up positions. no runs. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely. Reinhardt University still leading 4-0, to zero, but maybe some momentum for Bryan College. Find out next here on the Lions Radio Network. Welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom of the fifth action for Bryan College Lady Lions. They trail Reinhardt University 4 to nothing. See if they can get something going right here with Savannah Beard up to bat. And a good pitch there from Adriano up the middle. Beard not able to turn on it just yet. The 0-1 offering on the way from Adriano. And that one low and in the dirt. Count moves to one and one. And the one one from Adriano. Beard gets a bat on it into short. Loveless fields it. And Loveless guns are at first base. Press a piece of fielding right there. Stepping into the box for the Lady Lions, number 25, Haley Stahl. And the first pitch is a ball from Adriano. And Stahl has been quiet today. It's, it's not something you see often for her to be quiet through a whole series. But maybe she's been saving it. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's something that we don't, aren't privy to. That one a strike on the inside. Great throw by Adriana right there. And the 1-1 one -one offering. This one too short. Loveless to throw in time. Maybe we should stop hitting it over there. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think we got to switch it up. I feel like all of our hot hits have been either to that side. Or, but then again, I'm going to be very honest, Drew. I'm, all of our hits, you know, even the ones that have been kind of, you know, our better size yeah. hits have been, you know, fielded very well from the yeah. Reinhardt Eagles. And Lily Taylor in the box. This one a pop up to shallow center, and Wade won't get there in time. Wade's going to take first base, a single for that ball in the perfect spot to get through the gap of Reinhardt's defense. Perfect spot right there, Drew. And now Vanessa Hart stepping in the box. Hart. Uh, played very well versus Union College uh, last weekend, and they're going to need they need something like that. She was she was pretty lights out, and this one a strike. Hart swings and misses. Count moves to 0-1. Adriano staying very composed at that mound, just doing what she needs to do, getting. Just getting our getting our girls to really swing. Yeah, Hart, Hart seems a little swing happy right now. I'd like to see her like to see her calm down. That was that ball was really high. And the 0-2 from Hart. Mm, yeah, I agree with it. you, Drew. Right there, really yeah. seemed like she was reaching for that one. Uh, that's tough to see. 
Lady Lions get one on base, but no runs come from it. The score, four to nothing. And uh, we'll be right back for the top of the sixth here on the Lions Radio Network. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for the top of the sixth inning here. Reinhardt back up to bat. And up at the plate for Reinhardt is going to be number five, Kylie Frazier. Kylie's been quiet today, but she's gotten on base a sneaky amount of times. Hogriff starts her out with a ball to count 1-0. Frazier connects on one to center field. Quiet no more. Very impressive yeah. by Frazier right there to really wait on that changeup for it to come yeah. right there and hit that ball. That one hung over the plate just a little bit too much. You can see her rip. I think she was expecting the changeup there. Again, sorry guys for the wind. Apologies. It's picking up. You know, the weather is, you know, getting a little bit more cloudy. Got a We've got a pinch runner. It's going to be number 33, Maggie English for Frazier. And into the box going to be the catcher, Anna Kate Singleton. It's, it's kind of odd to play softball. She's got single in her name. Yeah. Maybe meant to be. <laughs> Maybe it is meant to be. And Singleton up to bat. Hogriff, the offering. Singleton, hard hit ball. Almost gets her coach down that third base line. The 0-1 offering from Hogriff. Singleton pops it up. Stahl tracks it down in foul territory for out number one. Stepping into the box for the Lady Eagles, number two, Aaron Lee. Lee was a sacrifice her last time out, able to advance the runner, but thrown out at first. And the first pitch of the at bat, high, Bumgardner staring down English there on that first base. Aaron Lee hard up the middle, past the glove of Beard. Hart ready for it. And Richards receives the throw. And that'll be a base hit for Lee. Reinhardt has runners on first and second. And Hogriff's getting up there in pitches. And this, it starts, it starts to become a lot harder to control your best stuff, and especially having gone through this order a few times. Yeah, definitely. Not only this order, but an order like Reinhardt's order, who has been, you know, on today hitting and doing what they've been doing and stepping into the box for the Lady Eagles is number 25, Kara Lightner. This is a pinch hitter. I believe this is going to be a pinch hitter for number 10. Uh, Jill Martinet. Yeah, she has – she's stepped in since Holston. Olsway got hurt. She stepped in at first base, but I believe this is this is her spot in the order right here. I believe this is a pinch hitter for that position. Mm, great throw by Hogriff right yeah, there. Yeah, I liked it. Umpire disagreed. 1-0 in Leitner's favor. Leitner, excuse me. And the one of delivery from Hogriff, this one, and change up. Got her with the off speed, one to one in the count. Yeah. 
And the 1-1 one -one offering from Hogriff on the way. This one high, a fastball, if there ever was a definition of a fastball there. And the 2-1 delivery from Hogriff. This one on the outside, a strike called by the umpire. And the count knotted up at 2-2. Two two. Big out here if she could get it. This would be very big right here. And Kira Leitner lights it up. The throw to first in time. Gunzer, Jade Richards catches the ball and then gets the out at first base. A big play by Jade Richards right there to keep our Lady Lions in the game. Absolutely it was. The score gonna remain at four to nothing. That was big. And as the wind kicks up, we're gonna take another break here on the Lions Radio Network. And welcome back in, ladies and gentlemen, to what was once earlier today, a beautiful date in Tennessee. As you can see from our multiple camera angles, we have got a we've got a quite a darker sky, a different story now, as uh, we're rushing to get this game in. Up to bat for Brian is gonna be number one, Ashley Twitty. Adriano blows the first pitch right by her for strike one. And yeah, like me and Drew were saying earlier, this Tennessee weather can just change on you so quick. Yep. So from earlier, it was bluebird skies and nothing but sun, and now it's cloudy, looking like it's about to rain, and maybe just about a few hours. Yeah, maybe maybe sooner than that. I'm sure they'll be rushing to put that put that uh, tarp on the field as soon as this game ends. That and one a little high from Adriano. Yeah, that one a ball. You can feel the first rain sprinkles coming in right now. Twitty swings at it, doesn't find anything. The count knotted up at two and two. And that one. The count full. And Twitty fouls this one off high. About gets the light up there, man. That was a high ball. Yeah, it's charging. Yeah, Adriano having a spectacular second game right here. Just doing what she needs to do, striking out our girls. And let's see if Twitty can make that change. And Twitty, the first walk of the day for Brian College in this game. Stepping into the box for our leading lines, number 37, Juliana Santianas. And here comes the top of the order, Marcus. This is exactly what you want to see to get back into this ball game. Most definitely. Hopefully, you know, we can make some plays. Yep. We already got, um, we already got, is that uh, Twitty at first? Twitty's at first, Santianas Up in the box, called strike one on the first pitch. And the 0-1 offering on the way from Adriana. A bunt and a good one from Santianas. They'll get her at first, but Twitty gonna advance to second. And despite the out, I like the play. She wasn't able to beat the beat the throw, but she was able to get Twitty to second base. Yeah. And that's about as, I think that's as far as we've made it today. And that's, that's big. 
got to continue to keep advancing those runners and try to score. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, Hogarth can come up to play and hit again, just like she did last time when she was up at AB. Mm -hmm. She made a nice little play, a nice gap hit. If she can do that right here, that could be big play for us. You know, we all know Twitty is very quick around those bases, and she can get us home very, very easily. Right. First pitch, a strike on the inside, actually probably more like right up the middle more than anything. And the 0-1 delivery from Adriana well outside. And Singleton staring down Twitty. Twitty takes the short jog back to first to second base. Excuse me. The 1-1 one -one from Adriano. Hogriff gets a bat on it. That one going to find its way against the fence behind us. The 1-2. Like we were just saying, that other foul ball. Almost hit the light. That one did by Hogarth as well. Yeah. That one was really up in the yeah. sky. It's, it's an encouraging sign to see that we're getting contact on these balls. I mean, we're we're locking it in. Oh, that one a foul ball. Would have liked to have seen it gone fair. You know, I'm going to be very honest, Drew. That is fair coming from this umpire, considering he did call that against yeah. the Eagles earlier. He did. So he does stay true to his ways yeah. and called that as a foul as well. Yeah. I like the call. I would have liked. I mean, I, I think it was a base hit, to be honest with you. And the one two on the way to Hogriff. Hogriff protecting the plate. Foul tips it off down by the catcher. The one two from Adriano. Hogriff again foul tips on this one behind us in the weeds. A big base hit here. Anything that Hogriff can give them. Lions need offense desperately. This one on the outside doesn't give it to her. Reinhardt crowd wanted the ring up. 2-2 two -two count right here for Adriano. And right now, honestly, Hogriff is kind of in a good position. Hopefully she you know, maybe can get one more ball right here and or make a nice hit. Yep. And the 2-2, two -two, Hogriff late swing on it. Chopper gets thrown out at first. Twitty advances to third base. The Lions within striking distance as Aubrey Presley steps up to the plate. Yeah, and hopefully, you know, Aubrey being one of our best power hitters can make a nice hit right here for Twitty, you know, run right in and get us, you know, a score. You know, that would definitely help, you know, cut cut into this Reinhardt four-point lead. Yep. And that one, a ball a little high for the umpire's liking. Yeah, and as Drew was saying, the rain is starting to, you know, come yeah, trickle come in, in now. Yeah, we may, we may have to, uh, to hop off if it gets, you know, when damage equipment. But we'll, we'll stay on as long as we can. You know, we're committed to the softball broadcast, Drew and I. Yeah, we'll, tr we'll definitely leave one camera up, no matter what happens here. We've got a cover for that one, but. We don't want to damage any of our equipment. We won't be able to use it for future broadcasts. So we'll let you. We'll keep you guys updated. Is that with that? Excuse me. As you see, a quick mound visit by the catcher Hannah Kate Singleton Presley ahead in the count two and zero. Oh. And again, Presley being one of our best players, one of our best hitters. And I think Adriano is definitely. Again, sorry guys, the wind is picking up. Yeah, the wind is is becoming a factor here as you see Presley fly out in the infield. The score is still Reinhardt leading four to zero. We'll take another short break and be right back on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back in to the Lions Radio Network on site here in a cloudy Dayton, Tennessee. And uh, we've unfortunately had to take down one of our cameras. We're, we're trying to protect it from the elements. It's sent, sitting up there on the dugout. The wind was getting a little bit too much for it. Mm, what a change up throw right there from Denver Hogriff. Called a strike. Um, right now we have number 24, Emily Loveless, who has been playing a phenomenal day today. Um, and another hit by Twitty gives chase. It gets down under her glove. Loveless is flying to second. The throw from Twitty just a little bit off. And she'll take second base as she slides in there. And Loveless, for as tall as she is, very, moves. very, very fast. Moves. She is one of the taller girls I've seen out here on the softball field, but just as quick as any of some of these other girls I've seen. And she has been making plays all day today. Yeah. Teams goes for the bunt. That one foul back. Might have hit number catcher. 99, Bree Bumgardner, in the ankle a little bit. Yeah, she's looking to walk it off. I think she might be okay. And once again, we we did have to take down that, that other camera. Um, so you've got the view. You've got the view here from behind home plate, and we'll try to we'll try to be on it with the play-by-play -play so you can see just about everything. And like Drew was saying earlier. <laughs> Even a soft softball hit hurts yeah, <laughs> a lot. You absolutely. Know? A lot of these girls are very tough and very strong and, and shake off some of these very direct hits. Uh, Drew could tell you from firsthand experience, <laughs> that ball does not yeah. feel nice getting hit. And the 0-1 hard hit by teams down the left field line. Going to get out. Foul, Santiana's giving chase. Hookriff got teams at 0-2 right now. Loveless still on second base. Teams fouls another one. This one high. Almost gets involved in the soccer practice going just yeah, to our left. Definitely. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be one of those soccer guys having to practice right now with my head turned to this field because, man, one of those balls could hit you at the yeah. wrong angle and you might be taking a nice nap. And the 0-2 from Hogriff. This one rings her up looking. Teams goes down. And the throw a little errant from Bumgardner. Richards able to make a heads up play and track it down. One out for the Lady Lions. And into the booth. Booth. <laughs> into the box now for Reinhardt. Going to be number 44, Molly Stevens. Hogriff's first offering a little low and inside. A 1-0 count right now in Hogriff's favor. And it's called strike one from Stevens. And I'll tell you, Marcus, I, I know no runs on the scoreboard for Lady Lions. I feel like they played a much better game, a much more error-free game here. I've been very impressed with the way that they played in the second game. I agree with you, Drew. I think this second game is a much more impressive outing of our girls. Granted, we haven't had no points put up on the scoreboard, but our fielding has been a lot better. The yeah. errors in the field haven't been a lot less. And, you know, we got to give credit where credit's due. These, e these Lady Eagles are playing a phenomenal game yeah, today as well. And you saw right there, Richards able to track it down. Good play there behind first base. So two outs for the Lady Lions on what would be Reinhardt's last chance to score. And Hogriff going to ring her up there. The count 0-1. Just, I mean, a, a big out here. Any chance they have left in this ball game is, is kind of riding on getting out of this inning with zero runs. And that one on the outside. Pryor doesn't like it. And the 1-1 one, one offering from Hogriff. This one a chopper to third. And Haley Stahl able to deliver the throw to first base to end the inning. And Bryan College, they're down to their last three outs, but they're not out of it. We'll see what they can do with it right here on the Lions Radio Network.
And welcome back. The Lady Lions fighting for their lives here, here in the bottom of the seventh. We still got to hope they can do it, pull it out here and into the box to get it started. Gonna be number 99, Bree Bumgardner, and it'd be a big one for. That one on the inside, a called ball one. And the offering from Adriana, this one tipped up behind us into the rocks for a foul ball and a strike one. And the 1-1, one -one, Bumgardner pops it up high. And I believe that is Jill Martinet able to make the play. That one was just out of camera shot. And that's going to be out number one as Savannah Beard steps up to the plate. Savannah Beard, you know, a slapper, of course, able to make plays off her feet. You know, like Coach Nathan has said, and Drew and I have said multiple times, we need it now. We yep. need it right here, right now. Yep. We need a big play. And that called strike one for Adriana. Adriana, despite putting some runners on base, has just stayed calm the whole time, has never wavered, and has done a really good job here today. In fact, both pitchers in this second game have done a pretty phenomenal job. And that a called strike two. Beard now going to have to swing at it. Can't do nothing but agree with you, Drew. Um, I think both pitchers have been doing just a fantastic job of just, you know, controlling the pace of our girls' offense. And the one-two from Adriano. This one, a chopper over to Loveless. Can't handle it. Savannah Beard gets to first base. And there you go. You just got to put runners on base. Bryan College down to its last two outs, but they're not giving up, not throwing in the towel. Nope, not at all. And this is exactly what I was just asking for. We needed Savannah Beard to make a nice little play right there, and she did. Hopefully we can have Haley Stahl do the same thing and get our bases up, and we can make some, some points on the board. And the first pitch to stall, a called strike one. And the pitch, stall, foul tip behind us. And stall now down to 0-2. Going to need to put something in the field of play here. Going to have to protect the plate. And the 0-2, stall, got her swinging beard back to the base. The throw not in time. Stepping into the box for the Lady Lions, number 15, Lily Taylor, right here, right now. I mean, Drew, there's there's no other position to be in as a, as a player right now yep. when, when your whole team needs you and the game is on the line. Number 15, Lily Taylor's in that position right now. Hopefully Lily can make a big play for yep. us, you know, and keep us alive and keep us kicking. Yeah, it's gotten dark outside as the day's gone down, and it's getting dark for the Lady Lions, but they've still got a chance here. And Taylor high in the air to left center. The catch by teams will end the ball game. Reinhardt University defeating Bryan four to nothing in game two as they sweep the season series. And uh, that's just about gonna do it for us. Marcus, I had a great time, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for hanging out with us. And, Absolutely. Um, for all of you watching at home, Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for watching. Um, we really enjoy doing this for you guys, bringing Brian Athletics for myself, Camille Holly, Chase Green, Marcus Allen, and all of us that go into making Brian Athletics what it is. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.